And we have uh, the latest on the lawsuit that was filed against the city of El Paso by the chief internal auditor Edmundo Calderon. Now this all began back in May when El Paso Mayor Oscar Lucer questioned the man in charge of investigating the use of taxpayer funded gas cards issued to city representatives. Do you believe that you were ever pressured or felt that you were someone was trying to intimidate you at any point? All right. I'd rather not answer, Mayor. Anyone from council? I'd rather not answer. Okay. And that is the internal auditor there speaking to the mayor. Now, Chief Internal Auditor Edmundo Calderon is suing the city, and he says he was intimidated after stating in his report that the cards were misused. Tonight, we have extra perspective on how the city is officially responding to that lawsuit. Those named in the suit include former El Paso City Manager Tommy Gonzalez, City Attorney Carla Neiman, Assistant City Attorney Juan Gonzalez, City Representative Cassandra Hernandez, Hernandez's husband, Jeremy Jordan, and El Paso resident Deborah Paz. ABC 7's Sam Harrisimowitz breaks down how the city is responding to the lawsuit in which the chief internal auditor claims staff harassed and intimidated him. In my professional opinion, it was an attempt to intimidate me, confuse me, try to influence my work, and uh, actually impeding my independence. That was the city of El Paso's chief internal auditor, Edmundo Calderon, telling ABC7 directly last August that he felt intimidated while conducting his audit into gas card usage by city representatives. Calderon's audit found the usage, quote, excessive by current city rep Cassandra Hernandez and former city representative Claudia Rodriguez. Calderon said he faced retaliation as a result of his findings. He filed that initial lawsuit last year, and ABC7 has obtained the city's official legal response. The document states there is no violation of the Texas Whistleblower Act. The city says Calderon didn't report a crime to El Paso police. The city says if there is no violation, then the city cannot be sued and the case should be dismissed. Calderon's attorney responded directly to that claim. He was there for video. When he's there, the police tell him, hey, this is credit card abuse. This is all sorts of, of criminal things by, you know, city representatives. The video Enriquez is referring to includes the one you're seeing now. A source close to the case told ABC7 the man in the video is Jeremy Jordan, the husband of city rep Cassandra Hernandez. The source told ABC7 that Jordan was using Hernandez's gas car to fill up his truck. The city's response also states Calderon suffered no damages, to which his attorney argued is not the case. Disagree based on what we've pled and, and sort of the issues that are coming up which I can't discuss or comment uh, the any sort of uh, testimony by witness. In the petition filed by Calderon's lawyer following the city's response, it discussed the possible involvement of the Texas Attorney General, which Calderon's lawyer explained how that could happen. We have not reached out because they would have to actually do, in our opinion, uh, a denial. It's a verified denial, which means someone's going to have to swear to it. Um, and if they do that, we would, I would be willing to reach out to the Texas Attorney General and let them know this is what's going on in El Paso. Sam harris Simowitz, ABC7. ABC7 reached out to the city of El Paso. We were told that they respectfully declined to comment as this is still an active lawsuit. City Rep Cassandra Hernandez responded to our request for comment saying she just recently was served the lawsuit and has until February to respond. We also reached out to Deborah Paz by phone and have not heard back.